G'day, g'day. It's time for another beer review. This time, I'm going for one called Sour Monkey. Sour IPAs apparently have become a little bit popular. I think I've only ever tried one or two of them. Let's give this a try. Yeah, it is a little bit sour. It's a bit like those lollies you used to have as a kid where you'd dip them and um, they'd have this sort of funny, tangy sort of flavour all the way down the back of your throat. It's a bit like that. <clears throat> Nine and a half percent is a decent beer. It's not exactly my cup of tea, but, you know, I'd enjoy one every now and then. I prefer the tropical IPAs, but hey, each to their own, and uh, it's not bad. Anyway, don't be a sour monkey. So I guess philosophically what I want to say today is, it's so easy in life to uh, be bitter, to be angry, to hold resentment towards people that have done the wrong thing by you. In my case, I feel as if it's the other party uh, believes that they're completely innocent or largely innocent. And uh, I'm the one that's guilty. Um, not that I'm saying that I'm perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but This other person certainly isn't uh, certainly isn't innocent by any stretch of the imagination either, and uh, certainly doesn't justify in any way, shape, or form what's happened to me. But again, going back to the morality of it, I guess it's never a good thing just to to hold on to grudges and be bitter and stuff, I, I, you know, it's easy initially to do that, and in some cases it's not easy to not be bitter, but it's much better if you forgive the person and walk away. It doesn't mean that you've got to like them, or it doesn't mean you've got to be friends with them, it doesn't mean anything of that nature. If anything, you're releasing yourself rather than them. So... Until next time, don't be a sour monkey.